Over the years, we've, we've gotten, our rankings have gone up. We got great people, we got a great course superintendent, we got a board that wants to invest in the, in the golf course, and we got great members that love it. And you know, it's really special how I've seen the golf course mature into what it is today. And this, this golf course holds up against any golf course in the country, in my opinion. All right, today's windy. This place is an absolute gem, and it's another top 10 course for this series. First time at Hollywood, let's take her out. The first hole plays downhill from your tee shot. Um, it's, it's a fairly forgiving tee shot. There's a little bit of trouble on the right if you're a longer hitter, and there is trouble on the left if you're a longer hitter. I think it's a very fair opening hole. There's supposed shot. to be a gentle handshake, right? And I think it is very much that, but it is very intimidating from the tee because the bunker looks to be right in your face. Get in! Oh. I saw yours break and I thought, let it play, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't have given it so much break if I hadn't seen yours. All right, good par. Thanks. Pars are always good out here. In 1898, uh, a few fellows at the Hollywood Hotel in Long Branch, New Jersey, decided that they'd like to play golf. So they formed a golf club. And on the grounds of the Hollywood Hotel and Cottage Colony, they laid out a nine hole golf course. And that's how the club got its name, the Hollywood Golf Club, from the name of the hotel. They played there for a number of years, and then the Hollywood Hotel wanted to expand their buildings, and the club had to find a new location, which they did and built an 18-hole golf course in the West End section of Long Branch. Uh, that was perfectly nice, but after a while it was insufficient to the needs of the members who wanted to have a real championship golf course. So uh, in around 1912, they negotiated with the owner of the property that we're on now, a named George Young, and they leased the property. Interesting side note, George Young happened to have been the president of the golf club across the street at the time. So we hired a noted architect, uh, Isaac Mackey, to design the course, and the layout is pretty much the Isaac Mackey course today. Welcome to Tempo Town. Your mayor here is Frank. Great to meet you. Hope Frank, Tempo Town Mayor. <laughs> the number one thing people talk about at Hollywood is the greens. Not far behind that is the bunkers. We do have about 200 bunkers out there. I say about 200 because I'm not really sure the number. Every time I count, I get a different number. Um, some are as small as four square feet, some are 10,000 square feet. So they range in size greatly. The greens, they all have a pretty good back to front slope. They're very undulated. Um, we try to keep them as firm as possible. It's tough this time of year, July and August, they soften up a bit, but uh, we usually get them running pretty fast and that's when we really start to have some fun out there on the golf course. Thank God I hit That's that. That's one place. way to stop it. Thank God. That's one way to stop it. All right, we still got a part button. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought you had a part from that. I thought I had it. Right. Good effort. These always feel good. So 
Over probably the last uh, 10, 12 years or so, the club has had a focus uh, on that. Um, my predecessor as historian, uh, John Angelo, who since passed away, uh, started that process really in earnest and he collected much of the archive um, and we put much of that on display as you can see around this room uh, for the members to see and also in the main clubhouse. Um, I've taken over, continued to gather archives from various closets, basements, members, contributions and we have uh, started to build an archive room complete with up-to-date technology for scanning and digitization. Use that to engage the members in being proud of their club and its history. So this is you know, all the stuff we've now started to tag everything and index it and digitize it. Um, is this a, like a leather-bound book? This this is, these are leather-bound books. So this is the newspaper and magazine articles from the U.S. National Women's Championship in 2000, uh, in 1921. Again, much of the material that they used during during the restoration, they got from some of these articles and pictures that are around. So, but we have all the site plans, all the building plans. So it's just a methodical digitizing as you go through. And, and organizing so that when we need to do work on the golf course, when we need to do things, we have the history, we know the history. We got a fun one here. Par four dog leg left, it's gettable. It's saying about 260 from here to there. Now we got trees to go over. Risk reward. You gotta play a draw here, I think. You think you just have to. It depends on the height. High tough? You could play your normal shot shape if you get it up over the tree. You could start it over that. It's just, it's all risk reward. It is. We got it. You got this. Could be good. Could be good, good. Oh, that's gotta be on. That's gotta be on. That's gotta be on. Well done. How about playing a draw on demand? Do it. <laughs> that's wow. Not this guy was named here. I don't know. I don't have the guts to do that. <laughs> Jeez. That's it, conservative Frank. That's all. Uh huh. I'm not going for that green. Let me just look for a, like a pitch mark. Hold on. Yeah, right here. It's possible. Let's go. You gave it a chance. Nothing. Not this time. Uh, I will tell you. Chance. I was a little scared. Whew. Oh, that's all right. Come down. The 17th hole at Hollywood is, uh, has a remarkable past. The hole itself is a monster, and it was a monster back in 1921 because we have photos and our yardage booklets, it played 240 back then. So, you know, we wanted to recreate that, and it's still long today. It has a big run-up fairway in front of it. It has, I don't know, close to 20 bunkers on the hole. There's a, no, nah, it's about 20 bunkers on the hole. Um, the green is large. It is our largest green, just under 8,000 square feet. And it was recreated and shaped by Brian Schneider based on photographs and evidence that we have from the past. We have a lot of really good ground level shots of that green, both from the 17th green, from playing the 17th green, and from the seventh fairway coming up to it. So we were able to scale the green based on that and all of its features. And everything that we built, we believe is very accurate to what was here over 100 years ago. And it is diabolical. When everyone plays Hollywood, when they come off, they are talking about the 17th green. It's very challenging. And it's a very challenging green on a very long par three. So the 17th hole is not short on comments by members and guests alike.
stop. Oh, all right. All right, finished up here, another epic one. Yep. And now we're headed to Baltusrol. We're gonna spend the night in the clubhouse. We're sleeping over in the clubhouse. We got an early tea time tomorrow. The series just keeps heating up. Stay tuned, we yep. got another great one for you coming up. Let's go.